Hey Tim, hey everyone else, welcome back to Four Running Shoes. It was a good week this week because... <laughs> Just run a one kilometer PB. <laughs> it's always a good time when you run a PB. And um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to chase some PBs at the moment. So on Thursday during my track run, I'm doing intervals. And as I spoke last week, I'm doing a couple of kilometer easy warm up, then one kilometer fast. And during that kilometer, I ran my fastest ever kilometer. I shaved about 15 seconds off my previous best, or 14 seconds, so now my best kilometre is 3 minutes 31 seconds, and I'm keen to get that lower over the coming months as well. Uh, and then, yeah, it's been a, a not a huge mileage week. I only did about 29 kilometres over the week, a uh, bit of track running, a bit of treadmill running. Did a park run, it was cold, uh, but again, the best 5k time that I've done in a long time. I took uh, 28 seconds off my previous park run, um, which was good. So, uh, yeah, I'm edging towards the, uh, the sub 20 minute goal. Um, here's a graph of my progress. I'm tracking it. So I'm, I'm edging towards it. I've still got, you know, a bit over 30 seconds to take off, but in the coming months, I'm pretty confident that I can do that. So couldn't have run that park run much faster. My heart rate was sitting above 195 beats a minute. So couldn't push much harder than that, but you know, happy that I'm able to, uh, yeah, get that those times down and uh, we're making some good progress. So yeah, over the next little while, I'm really eager to yeah hit some PBs. So hit the marathon PB a little while ago, still a ways off my goal, but that's good. Uh, one kilometer PB this previous week. I think I hit a half mile PB during that run. Not that I'm tracking that. Uh, so yeah, I think the, the big ones for me now, I want to yeah get a 5k PB, which is, yeah, if I, if I crack the 20 minute, that'll do that. And, uh, you know, towards the end of August, approaching a potential half marathon race, I'd be liking to set a substantial PB in that as well. So, yeah, chasing PBs at the moment, looking forward to yeah running some more good speeds. I'm really enjoying running fast, like during marathon training. I, I really, <clears throat> now that it's been a little while, reflecting on my previous marathon season, and I know while I was in it, and reflecting a lot while I was in it, that my head really wasn't in it, and... You know, I was doing the long runs, but I wasn't getting as much mileage during the week as would have made a more successful season. So uh, that's that. But I've still built a really good base of fitness uh, coming out of that. So, yeah, look, looking forward to not training for marathons for a while. But I didn't get any uh, speed training in during my previous season and not a lot over the last two seasons as well that I had. So I'm really enjoying running fast and slowly adding more speed and more intensity as the weeks go on. Looking forward to yeah, potentially adding a bit more mileage next week, um, continuing to up the tempos and um, yeah, make those workouts yeah, really count and uh, add a little more intensity to those compared to this last week. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. Tim and Shelby, it was great to see your, your track run as well. Uh, it's looking great. It's great to see more of Shelby's running as she approaches her next half marathon. And uh, yeah, it's nice that you're able to start getting those workouts as well, Tim, back after your recent half marathon race. So things are tracking well. I'll leave it there for today, though, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed for Running Shoes. Make sure you check Tim's video out on Thursday. It might next be on Tuesday. Hopefully, you know, who knows? Maybe more PBs. That'd be nice. We'll see. Um, it's getting cold. It's run We're running in winter. It's cold. Take care. We'll see you next time.